So my white ass went to the market the other day. I saw this fruit. I've never seen it before in my life. Picture now. It was like a cross between a papaya and a mango. And I was trying to ask her. I was like, Malagor? That's the word for papaya. She's like, no. And she said something. My back. <laughs> Who knows what she said. And I, I don't know the word for mango. So I was like, mango? And she's like, no. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to buy it and try it. It looks too unique. Let's taste this thing. What? What is this? It smells like a pumpkin. It smells like a raw pumpkin. And it's squishy. It's so weird. What is the texture? It's not juicy. It's like... I don't know. There was this rotten bit. <laughs> I had to take out a bit of the rotten bit. I don't know if the peel is edible. I doubt it. I don't know how to eat it, but we're gonna eat it. Do you see in this? It's a very strange texture. Okay, we, we do this. I'm afraid. I'm downright afraid. If anybody knows what this fruit is, tell me. So I can avoid it. We'll see. <laughs> what? That is like, that might be my new favorite fruit. That's next level right below durian. It's like fatty and creamy. What is this? Is that egg fruit? It tastes like a sweet egg, a sweet creamy egg. That is something. That was 40 baht though for that one fruit. She ripped me up. Give me the Thai price next time. 40 baht. It's like 187? That's my guess. Was I right? I'm not right. I could be a fruitarian if there was more stuff like that. Unique, strange, special fruits. I couldn't do it on just papayas and mangoes. Mangoes are delicious. Papayas. What's going on with my papayas? What? I've been getting some whack papayas from the same people that used to have good ones. It's like out of season or something. I don't know what's going on. But I've been like mostly fruit for the past two days and I don't feel better. I feel low energy. I just want to kick a baby. I just want to, oh my God. One of the reasons I came to Thailand was to see if the fruit here affected my blood sugar the same as it did back home. I figured maybe back home it wasn't complete fruit, it wasn't ripe enough, and it was like just sugar and water and fiber, and not enough of the minerals that I needed to absorb the sugar. That was my theory. I still get the blood sugar swings out here. I'll eat half a watermelon, I'm exhausted after. So, it doesn't matter where you are. Could just be the coconut milk from the night before fattying up my blood, and that's why I'm not absorbing the sugar. We'll experiment more. Cause I do want to do like a month on nothing but fruit and just cleanse my filth. We'll do it.
the mysteries of Thailand. I'll tell you, I thought, I want to say this, I thought we were not having much variety. Gecko? No. I was, like, I came here expecting that there was going to be a bunch of different fruits that I'd never seen before in my life. And there wasn't really. There's that girl, Fruit Bat Ann, Ann the Fruitarian one, whatever her name is. She's been like Fruitarian for the longest time and she has a kid who's Fruitarian, Cappy, little Cappy. So I think she lives in Costa Rica and she's getting all these different things like, oh, here's peanut butter fruit. It tastes like peanut butter. I was like, are you kidding me right now? An egg fruit. That might be egg fruit. I imagine it to be egg fruit. I don't know. Or is it a pawpaw? I don't know. But there hasn't been that many different weird things here. Maybe I'll start trying weird shit. It's just like, what the hell is that? I've seen some things, but not the peanut butter fruit. Where is that? I want that. So. I don't know what we're doing. We're building stuff down there. Wow. We made a time lapse of them hoisting up this tree. I thought that would be interesting, but probably not. We'll just play it now. Look at that. Oh, there's a dog barking. So I just wanted to taste that thing. I think I will go back buy the whole lot of them. What a strange fruit. Maybe it's the mammy sapote. It tastes like what I think a mammy sapote would taste like. Because people say it's kind of like a sweet potato. The dogs. Why do you do it? It's just your neighbor leaving the house. You've seen that every day of your life. I ordered an accessory kit for this camera so I can attach it to every part of my body. I got the helmet cam, the chest mount, everything. So we will ride up that mountain again. I didn't realize it would be so shaky. Usually when I put this on the bike mount, it's smooth as shit and it's so impressive. But when I'm going slower up the dog mountain, it's those sons of bitches, those two. Those are the major problems. We've got the two Thai kids there. So they both know very well, but they freak out at every little thing. Oh, we got a whitey farang. That's trouble. They finally stopped eight minutes later. So, yeah, I was surprised the footage is so shaky because I was going so slow up the mountain and like ugh, struggling up that thing. So I think with the helmet cam, it would be much smoother and I can look at the waterfalls instead of just saying, oh, look at that. Too bad you can't see that. Wow. So we will head up that mountain again. And we will have fun doing it. So I think we're done here. If you know what that fruit was I had, please tell me what it is. It's creamy custard pumpkin pie fruit. Delicious. And uh, 40 baht though. I could go to that vegetarian society for two days and eat all I could eat veggies and rice for that. Get your shit together, Tyler. So, we're done? We're done here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down. If you have snake fruit, which, which is you just cut open a snake and eat its eggs, and you call it fruit for some reason? That's weird. Why are you doing that? It's not fruit. It's just eggs. Okay, we're done. Subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.